every Sunday is that we get to worship together. So I brought along some of my friends. Everybody say hi. I brought some of my friends today and they're gonna help us worship together. So are you guys ready? All right, let's worship. Come on, we have some dance moves. We're gonna put our hands together. Our friends are gonna show us how to do it. Oh, 
hey, everybody, welcome to church. Welcome to church. I want to invite you just to have a seat just for a moment. Have a seat just for a moment. Come on, come on. Isn't it great to come to church and just see kids praising Jesus and knowing these songs? Is that great? It's great. I know this isn't our norm, you know. Normally we start praising and we just kind of keep going for a while. But uh, we wanted to uh, praise in a, in a very different way that's just so appropriate this week. We're launching school. And a couple days under our belt, all of us, right, most schools have started. And we have here uh, somebody who's very special on our team. This is Dawn Selex. Dawn is a principal of a number of schools that we launched here this week. And so you guys welcome Dawn. So, Don, can you talk just for a moment? I mean, God's done so many things, but, you know, as we launched, had some kids here this week, uh, how can we continue to praise God for what he's done? What would you tell us? Yeah, guys, we opened a school this week. So we have three schools on campus. Um, it is unbelievable what God has done between last Sunday and Friday night. So many miracles happened on this campus, literal miracles. Um, those of you who know, who have been praying for us on this journey for the last two years, um, it has been hard. It's been hard, but we opened a school this week by God's grace. Um, I could share stories for the whole hour, but Johnny does not give me that much time. So I'm just going to share two quick stories. Um, one, I just thank our families, our families who have made the commitment to send their kids to a Christian school. Um, we understand that that is a financial situation for a lot of families. They're really stepping out on faith. Um, guys, we have scholars who have shown up, enrolled, and present last week who have never been to church before. How awesome is that? And we just get to pour the love of Christ into them every day, day in and day out. Um, this week, we only had three days with our scholars, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And on Friday, we did a salvation bracelet activity with some of our older scholars. And one of our courageous fourth graders stepped up and said, I, I, I want to talk more. I need more information because I've asked Jesus to live in my heart, but I'm not being obedient because this blue bead you guys just taught me means I need to be baptized. So our very first chapel of the school years is coming up Tuesday, and we get to baptize one of our scholars. What a way to start <laughs> chapel at school that baptized this kid. So his parents going to be here and involve yes. them in that process. And so... Don, you've served 26 years in uh, public education here in this county, surrounding area, and uh, that's why we're so blessed to have you here. And my heart is this week, uh, I think all about, about everyone's back. I think almost everyone's back. And so if you, we're just one part of a community uh, of, of teachers and parents, and you know, we've got a few days under our belt. We wanted to take some time as part of our worship today to, to pray in the school year, pray over all of the campuses that uh, are represented here. So if you, if you are a teacher, if you are a resource officer, if you work in administration, if, if you are working in any way with any of the schools, uh, a, 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 that star parent that's just there as a teacher aide, uh, any of that, if you work in education and you just started the school year, can you stand right now where you are? Can you stand? You're like, oh, I didn't know he was going to. Come on, just, just for a moment. Stand up, stand up. I know some of you that are better be standing. Yes. Okay. All right. Have a seat for just a moment. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. From the teacher heart, you guys are seen. You are heard. You are being prayed for by so many. We know the last two weeks, the next two weeks are nothing short of exhausting. We know it. But you are doing the right work. Um, 26 years, I got to serve in the public school, and that was my mission field for 26 years, day in and day out. I got to show up and just be a light in a dark community, and thank you, because you guys are doing the same thing wherever you're serving. Yeah, and teachers matter. I mean, I, I remember all my teachers that have made so much of an impact, and so thanks for what you're getting ready to do. And as you go, we, as you show up to church today, here's what we're really hoping, that you just feel loved on, acknowledged, encouraged, and that you would just go brightly this year into those hallways and those classrooms and those things you do that 
make this happen. And so as we go in, we're going to sing some songs, but we want to have a specific time of prayer. So I'm going to invite you all to stand back up. And if you saw someone stand around you, maybe you sit in the same section every week or you're like, I didn't know they were a teacher. I didn't know what they did. Uh, if you're standing next to them, you can maybe put a hand on a shoulder or just reach a hand out. We want to lift up uh, those who are involved in education right now and those who are going to have an incredible year. So Dawn's going to lead us in a specific time of prayer over you and our students, our learners this season. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for this time that we can come to you and just lift everyone who works in a school up to you, Lord. If it's a bus driver, FNS, custodial, every single job in that school matters. We get to make a difference every day in this career, Lord, and we just thank you for that. We thank you for the educator families and just the extra that they're doing during certain seasons, which is right now, Lord. Lord, I just pray a special blessing on everyone who is stepping foot into a school. If it's our students, if it's a staff member, Lord, just put your arm around them this week. Just a re gentle reminder how much you love them and the difference that they can be with the knowledge that they have, Lord, just to be that bright, shining light in our communities. Again, we just are honored to serve in this way, and we thank you for what you're going to do during this new school year. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's continue worshiping everybody.
God who leads and oh 